All right, gang, welcome to Hanson Speed Shop. You stopped by today for a super cool build. As you've seen in the beginning of the video, you probably recognize that car. It's from the movie Grease, and it's called Hell's Chariot. First time I seen that car when I was a little kid watching the movie Grease, I just thought it was the coolest thing. You know, throwing the flames and the spiked hubcaps and the attitude of the guy driving the car. Just super cool. So as you guessed it, that's what we're building today. We're going to be using this to do it. It's a American Muscle um, Ertl 49 Merc. And this particular one is the Happy Days one. Um, I've been wanting to do this project for quite a while now. I actually tried to start doing it a long time ago and kind of failed. So we're going to try it again with this one. A lot of work is going to have to go into this to make it into the car from the movie. But if it works out, it should be super cool. So the first thing we're going to do is I'll get this thing out of the box. And then we'll kind of see what we have to work with. And I'll kind of go over how I'm going to turn this thing into the Hell's Chariot from Greece. All right, so here's a look at everything that comes in the kit. Now, you could get these um, from Ertl or American Muscle already assembled. Um, and they made this car in a bunch of different colors. Um, I just got this one uh, for a good deal. So this is the one that we're going to be working with. Now, you guys are probably wondering, why would I start with um, basically just a stock car and not and not a convertible already well this is probably the most accurate and um detailed merc that i could find that's going to give us the the correct look hot wheels makes a, a like 50 or 51 mercury convertible but the styling on it is not going to give us the the results that i want in the end so we're just going to have to start with a stock car like they would have with the movie cut the roof off so we'll have to cut the roof off back here and then around the windshield here, get rid of the whole roof. We're going to have to cut out the fender skirts. Um, we're going to have to get rid of this little hood ornament because I don't believe the car in the movie had one of those. Um, as far as with the chassis, the only thing that we're really going to have to do on that is some detailing and then um, the cool flamethrower exhaust tips. Uh, as far as the interior, this is really perfect because it's got, it basically looks just like the one uh, in the movie car. The only thing that we're going to have to do is the bonnet or the convertible top. Um, I'm going to have to find something off of another car to fill in this back piece, um, which I think I've got a few ideas for that. Uh, we're not going to be using these wheels. Um... It comes with some little screws to screw the car back together and a screwdriver, so that's cool. Um, and then we'll detail out the motor a little bit better. And then we'll give it that cool black paint job with the flames. I just think this car should be really cool. Um, I'm sure you guys have seen the movie Grease. And, you know, some people like it, some people hate it. Um, there's a lot of neat stuff in the movie. I could do without some of the singing but I always kind of thought the Scorpions were really cool and tough and they didn't have to go through all the lame all singing uh, in the movie. Um, so this should be a super cool build. It's definitely going to be a lot of work, but I think it, it should come together like what I have in my head. So stay tuned. I think the next step is uh, I'm going to pull this motor out of here because this is plastic. Um, and then we'll probably have to pull the grill off also, it looks like. And then we'll get the body stripped. And uh, maybe I'll start doing some metal work. And then we'll go from there. Alright guys, so we're back on our 49 Mark project that we're doing as a replica of the Scorpions ride from the movie Grease called Hell's Chariot. Got the thing all torn apart. Or well, I guess it was already torn apart to begin with. But we've got it all stripped now. Uh, so we got the body stripped. Um, still some cleanup to do on this thing, but we got quite a bit of metal work that's going to need to get done on this thing um, regardless. So uh, here's a look at our hood. Um, we're going to have to fill that little hole in right here where that uh, hood emblem was. And as far as on the body, besides cleanup, um, what's going to have to get done is 
um, this entire bubble fender skirt is going to get cut out um, to just leave the stock style um, wheel opening and then uh, basically everything kind of behind this little vent window here back is going to get all cut out and then just the stock or just kind of where the the window frame is here so this will get cut in uh, and then every the whole roof basically except for the front windshield frame and this vent window is going to get cut off and then we got to uh, obviously clean this body up a little bit um got this all stripped um it was just kind of done over this nice polished die cast or whatever you want to call this zamac um which is going to look nice because the bumpers will be a little bit shinier than they were painted um here's our windows um and then kind of you've seen everything else kind of in the beginning of the video as far as what came in this was uh, a kit basically as you've seen uh so that's the car uh right now uh, the next thing that i'm going to do is start cleaning this body up uh cut those fender skirts off uh start marking out where i want to cut this roof get the roof cut off uh and then get the um that hole in the hood filled once we get to that stage the next stage is going to be to um figure out something for the convertible top um we're going to have to uh figure something out for our wheels and then we're going to do some cool um flamethrower exhaust out the back because that's one of the coolest parts of the movie every time the dude rolls away he hits them flamethrowers and shoots flames out of the back super cool tough looking looking car and that always just stuck in my head since i seen that movie when i was a kid i thought that was so cool uh see that was like the first time i seen flamethrowers on a car i thought it was super cool always really dug this car and i've wanted to do this build for a long time uh, like I talked about, we I tried to do this build a while ago, and uh, it just didn't work out. I wasn't happy with it. Uh, so this time, hopefully, it turns out like what, what it should. So we'll take another look at it once uh, we make a little bit more progress on it. And then we'll go from there. All right, guys, so we're back on our 49 Merc project. And as you can see, the thing has come a long way. And it's really starting to look like the car from the movie. Um, what we did on here is um, I cut out the uh, back fender skirts just to give it the uh, stock wheel opening just like the Merc in the movie and then we completely cut off the entire roof just leaving uh, this vent window post here and uh, the front windshield frame and that came out super awesome that's where I had the trouble um, the or first time I tried to do this cutting the roof off it did not go as planned abandoned the project and then um Decided I really want to build that car because I've always dug it since I was a little kid. Uh, so we, we're giving it another shot. So far, so good. Um, and then we also shaved. Uh, there was like an emblem on the trunk here. We shaved that off because the car in the movie did not have that on there. Um, just a little bit of cleanup is going to be needed um, on here and everything. But um, we're going to have to fill this hole in, in the hood. Um the the hood that came with this car originally um did not fit the car as well so luckily i had another one of these from when i originally tried to do this and that hood fits um a lot better so we're going to go with that hood but we still got to fill that hole um do some cleanup but we'll do that prior to um painting the car um as far as our wheels go um, I decided that we're going to go with these wheels from Johnny Lightning. Um, we're going to swap the tires out for some black wall tires, but these hubcaps will look good. And then I'm still going to try to figure out something to give them that, that Ben-Hur spike look. I'm not sure how I'm going to do that yet, so I'm still thinking on that. But uh, at least we got the wheel figured out. Uh, this interior was out of a Hot Wheels uh, 1970 Chevelle convertible. And I might try to um, use this back bonnet part for the convertible top to fill in this piece here. I'm not sure if this is going to work yet. This is what I have right now. If I can find something better, we'll go with that. But for now, this is probably what I'm going to try to make work. Uh, and then I got to cut the windshield out. We aren't going to be using any of this stuff. We'll have to cut our windshield out. Uh, that's kind of where we're at right now. We made a lot of good progress. The car's really moving along, coming out super awesome. 
everything's worked out great so far so once we make a little bit more progress we'll take another look at it All right, gang, it is time for the final unveil on the Scorpion's Hell's Chariot 49 Merc from the movie Grease. One of my all-time favorite movie cars when I first seen this thing when I was a kid shooting flames out of the back and just ripping up the ton. I just thought it was so cool. And I thought it was just like, you know, those guys are really badass and cool. And, uh, you know, one of the most recognizable movie cars. Every time anybody sees an old 50s car that's black with flames on it, they're like, oh, that's the car from Greece, even if it is or isn't. Um, just a really recognizable movie car. I've always wanted to do one of these, finally got around to doing it, and I could not be happier because it came out looking absolutely awesome. There's no way anybody's going to mistake this for being anything else. Um going to talk about everything that I did with this car but before I do that just want to remind everyone if you really dig this build and this project give it a thumbs up comment below let me know what you think of the car hit that subscribe button if you haven't already and share this video because you want to get this stuff out there and show everybody what we're doing here at Hanson Speed Shop and that we're doing some really cool really original stuff that nobody else is doing so let's get that out there and get this stuff known. So we started off with a 49 Merc from Racing Champions American Muscle. Um, completely cut off the entire roof on the car um, and then turned it into a convertible, which um, was fairly easy to do. Um, you just got to take your time and do a little bit at a time so that um, you don't weaken the casting and it falls apart. Um, definitely don't want that to happen. Um, then this car came with fender skirts on it. Uh, obviously the kind of movie don't have fender skirts. So we had to cut the fender skirts off and then reshape the rear quarter panels um, to just give it that stock wheel opening. That turned out really good. Um, we had to do a couple more modifications on this car. Um, it came with a hood ornament. So we had to ditch that and then fill the hole in the hood. And then it we shaved the uh, the trunk lid and smoothed that all out. It had some trim on there that we got rid of. Um, then we gave this thing a really nice high gloss black paint job. Um, I hand did all the flames on the car in yellow and orange and tried to do them as close to um, the ones on the movie car. Um, they probably use like two or three cars in Greece. Um, in each car, the flames are a little bit different. So I basically just tried to look at pictures and make them as close as I could to, um, the main, the main car that you see in the movie. Um, then we did all the trim out around uh, on top of the door and then on the top of the back quarter panel in chrome, did the door handles out. I handed the little scorpion on the door and that turned out really cool. Uh, painted the bumpers chrome, um, detailed out the interior in a satin black, um, the tops off of a semi Chevelle, um, trimmed that out and uh, that worked out pretty good. Um, detailed out that also with the little snaps around it. Um, this car's got a really cool um, opening hood on it. Um, with a really nice uh, flathead engine that we detailed out, um, red block, and then the heads and intake and generator are all chrome. Here's a look at the front of the car, detailed out the headlights and everything, detailed out the trim um, around the, the uh, windshield, detailed out the wipers. This casting came with just a ton of nice detailing on it. Here's a look at the driver's side of the car. Um, didn't really alter the stance too much on this car, but we had to make custom axles. Um, one detail that I wasn't able to do um, was the cool like Ben-Hur spiked hubcaps. 
um, but I got the wheels as close as I could. Those are um, chrome, like hubcap style wheels from Johnny Lightning with black wall tires, um, just like the car in the movie would have had. And then I did the uh, taillights out, and then I custom made uh, the flamethrower exhaust out of aluminum tubing. Taking a look underneath the car, detailed out everything in gloss black, detailed out the uh, oil pan. Um, and then uh, detailed out the exhaust like I talked about. Um, so super cool casting. I hope you guys dig this one. Uh, really iconic uh, movie car. Um, this is the the Grease Lightning car that uh, Hot Wheels did. Um, now I have the pair. I wish they would have made uh, this car, but uh, that's okay because I did it myself. Really happy with it. Turned out sweet. Again, I hope you guys dig this build. I'm super happy with it. Super happy to have this car in my collection. And uh, comment below. Let me know what you think. Hit that subscribe button. Stick around for some cool pictures of these two cars. Um, we'll kind of do some like race scene pictures here on the drag strip. Otherwise, until next time, get out. Work on your own projects. Get those hands dirty and greasy. Stay cool, and we'll catch you cats on the next one. Thanks for watching.